Welcome everyone to a complete common entrance course. For those of you preparing for 2026 common entrance, this uh, um, video is for you. It has level 1 to 12. Just ensure you follow through as I'll be starting from the very beginning of what you need to do. Common entrance mathematics questions and answers level 1. Question number 1. Find the value of the digit 2 in 12189. That's 12,189. To get the value, all you need to do is put an indicator in 2. So bring the 2 down, then let other digits be 0, let 8 be 0, let 9 be 0. What do you have? 2,000. So the right option is C. Question number two. Express in figures 91,109. Though it appeared very easy, I will encourage you not to just write your answer straight up. Break it down. 91,000, it has a comma. So I'm going to write 91,000. 109. So we have 100, we have 9. Now um, add up everything. This is 9, 0, 1, 1, 9. 91,109. So the right option is option E, 91,109. Question number 3. This question says, how many thousands are there in the number 14,602? Okay, so how many thousands are there in this number? How many thousand do we have? 14. From the way you read it, you know how many thousand you have there. So this is 14,000. 602 if I break it up this way so we have 14,000 which is so how many thousands are there 14,000 are there question number four express this uh, 2021020 in words this look um, large so what you do you group from the right to the left in three so one two three you put a comma one two three you put an, that comma the reason why we group is um for it to be easier for us to read uh we can read this now this is uh two million twenty one thousand and twenty so the right option is b two million twenty one thousand and twenty Question number five says, express 615 in Roman numerals. 615. To express in Romans, the first thing you must do is to break this, expand it, which will give us the value of 6 is 600, the value of 1 is uh, 10, and the value of 5 is 5 units. If you add up everything, you give us 615. In Romans, how do you write 600? D is 500, DC, this is 500 in Romans, and 100, C is 100 in Romans, so DC is 600, 10 is X and 5 is V, so our answer is DCXV. If you look at the options, 615, the right option is A. Question number 6, what is 1948, that's 1948 as a Roman number. So step one, expand the value of one, 1000. The value of nine is 900. The value of four is 40. Then we have eight. Now, how do you write 1000? Of course, we need to write the corresponding Roman numbers. 1000 this is M, 900 is CM, CM, C is 100, 
But whenever a smaller value is at the back of a bigger one, it means subtraction. So this M, 1000 minus C, 100 is 900. So C, 900 is CM. 40 is XL. 8 is VIII. So 1948 is 1MCM XL Okay, and this is the answer. So the right option among what we have is option E, MCM XL VIII. Question number seven. This question says express CXL VIII in figures. To do that, you also need to break this up. So we have C plus we have XL plus we have VII. Okay, you break up this way. C is, the value of C in Romance is 100, XL is 40, VIII, VII is 7, 567. Yeah, at this, this is 147. Bring down 7, bring down 4, bring down 1. Okay, so the right option is C. Question number 9, this question says, change into Hindu Arabic numerals. We have MCM LXXXVIII. Okay, so to do that, you break this up. This is M plus we have the CM, then we have LXXX, then we have VIII. Okay, now you write the corresponding numbers M is 1000, CM in Romance is 900. L, 50, 60, 70, 80, L, X, S, X is 80, then V, I, I, I is 8. If you add this up, you have 8, 8, 9, 1, 1,988. So the right answer is option A. Question number 9. We are done with Romans. What is the sum of 132? 84, 107, and 1065. So let's write this. We have 132, we have 84, we have just add zero here. 084 is the same thing as 84. 107, then uh, we have this last number, which is 5601. Now I can choose to add this up. Rearranging to start with the, the biggest number, but I just want to prove to you that you can still arrange um, This way and still get your answer right. So all I need to do is just to fill up with um, Zeros in empty spaces Add up the unit 2 plus 4 is 6 6 plus 7 is 13 13 plus 5 is 18. You keep 8 you put 1 here Okay, so 1 plus 3 is 4, 4 plus 8, 12, 12 plus 6, 18, 8, you put 1 here, 1 plus 1, 2 plus 1, 3, you bring down this one, 1,388 is the right answer, which is option B. Question number 10 says, subtract 786 from 1,010, so we have 1,010, minus 786 okay borrow this one this is 0 10 minus 6 is 4 um this 0 i can't borrow anything from here borrow this one is 0 put it here 10 borrow one from 10 9 put the one here 10 10 minus 8 is 2 9 minus 7 is 2 2 2 4 is option d all right, what is the product of 213 and 45? Product simply means multiplication. So we have 213 times 45. Let's multiply, okay? So 5 times 315, 5, put one here. 5 times this one is 5 plus 1. I moved here, so that's 6. 5 times this 2 is 10. I'm done with 5. You go to 4. 4 times 3 here is 12. 2, you keep 1 here. 4 times 1, 4 plus 1, 5. Then 4 times 2 is 8. Add up. Bring down the 5. 6 plus 2 is 8. 5 plus 0 is 5. 8 plus 1 is 9. 
9,585 is the right answer. Question number 12. The product of two numbers is 517. If one of the numbers is 11, what is the order? Of course, product means times. We have two numbers. Let me represent both numbers with these buses equal to 517. They told you that one of them is 11. To get the other number, you have to divide both sides by 11. This 11 cancels this 11, so the missing number will be... Now let's divide. Can 5 be divided by 11? No. 51 divided by 11, that is 4. Remember, 4 times 11 is 44. So that's 4 remainder 7. Put the remainder on top of 7. 77 divided by 11, that is 7. So the missing number is 47, which is option A. 47 times 11 must give you 517, so you can check that out yourself. Alright, for question 13, the question says, divide the product of 57 and 4 by 6. Product is time, so they said the product 57 times 4 divide by 6. So, we can gently cancel both the numerator and the denominator have values that can be divided by 2. 4 divided by 2 is 2. 6 divided by 2 is 3. So it will give us 57 times 2 divided by 3. So we can multiply the numerator divided by 3, but just like breaking down this way to make our work easier. 3 can go into 57. 3 year 1. 3 into 5 is 1 remainder 2. 3 into 27 is 9. Okay, so our answer is simply 19 times 2. 2 times 9 is 18. 8, 1. 2 times 1 is 2 plus 1, 3. So the right answer is C, which is 38. The next question, which is question 14. This question says, the sum of two numbers is twice the third number. If the two numbers are 11 and 7, the sum will give you 18, but they told you that the sum is twice a third number. So the third number must be half of this, which is 9. So 18 is twice 9. The right answer is option D. Question 15. When a certain number is divided by 25, the result is 32 with a remainder 17. Yeah. Since they said, oh, let the number be this box, it's divided by 25. The result is 32, remainder 17. Okay, so here we are looking for this box. So if you cross multiply, the box you are looking for, the missing number will have 25 times 32. You don't get rid of the remainder. You add it to the product of these two numbers, okay? So let's find out what 25 times 32 will give us. 2 times 5 is 10, 0 put 1 here. 2 times 2 is 4 plus 1, 5. 3 times 5 is uh, 15. 5 carry 1. 3 times 2 6 plus 1, 7. 0, 5 plus 5, 10. 0 carry 1. This is 800. So 800 plus 17 will give me 817. Among the options, the right one is A. Question number 16. This question says... A bus is carrying its maximum passengers of 84. Okay? It's carrying a maximum, its maximum passengers of 84. There are 18 standing, 18 standing, and the rest are three passengers on the seat. How many seats are there? Okay, so let's break this down. This 84 represents the maximum passengers the bus is carrying. We know that 18 people are standing. If you remove the 18 people standing from the total, you get the number of those seated. So borrow one from 8 here, it reduces to 7, put the 1 here. 14 minus 8 is 6. 7 minus 1 is 6. So 66 people are seated. But in the question, we were told that the rest are 3 passengers, only seats. So to get the number of seats, you simply divide 66 by 3 which will give you 22. So we have 22 seats on the bus. 
Question 17 says, Madam BC. Question 17 says, Madam BC uses 3 meters of clothes to make a lady's dress. She already has 7 meters of clothes. How many more must she buy to make 7 dresses? Just think, to make one dress, she uses 3 meters of clothes. She has 7 meters, but now she wants to make 7 dresses. So to make 7 dresses, she will need 3 times 7, that's 21 meters, that's the material she needs. But the question says she has 7 meters, so how many more must she buy? It will be what she needs, 21 meters minus what she has, 7 meters, she needs to buy 14 meters more. So the right option is C. Question number 18. 6,600 pieces of chalk are to be packed in packets. If a packet can contain 220 pieces, how many packets will be needed? 6,600 6, pieces of chalk are to be packed. Divide by the capacity of a packet which can hold 220 pieces. It will now give you how many packets you need. Zero cancels zero. So, 22 divided both sides by 2. 22 divided by 2 is 11. Um, 2 into 6 is 3. 2 into 6 is 3. Then bring down this 0. Okay? Divide by 11. 11 year 1. 11 into 33 is 3. Bring down this 0. So you need 30 packets, which is option C. Question number 19 says. A coach can take 40 passengers. How many passengers can be carried by 18 coaches? This is a simple multiplication. 40 times 18. 8 times 0 is 0. 8 times 4. 32. Now you go to 1. 1 times 0 is 0. 1 times 4 is 4. Sum this up, we have 0 to 7. 720. And the right option is E. The last question for today, question 20. Musa has M for Musa has 1473 marbles. OB has 1389 marbles. How many marbles must Musa give OB so that each of them now has the same number? A lot of people will just subtract and say that's their answer. Borrow one from seven, it reduces to six, put it here. 13 minus 9 is 4. Borrow 1 from 4, 3, put it here. 16 minus 8 is 8. Okay, if you subtract, you get 84. If you remove 84 from Musa's marble, which is 1473, and add it to Obi's marble, Obi's marble will be bigger than Musa's marble. So once you subtract, you must divide your answer by 2. So your right answer is 42. If you remove 42 marbles from Musa, and add the 42 to OB, both of them will have the same number of marbles. You can try that out and see. So the right option is A. Don't you forget, my name is Mr. Mark Okafo. Alright, thank you very much for staying with me. That's how much we can take for level 1. We are done with level 1 and we have home form for you. Now, these uh, questions are on the areas we've covered in level one. In my next video, we are going to um, look at level two. I don't want you to skip any of um, the levels as this will give us a complete course and then eventually you will be turned into a mathematician. For now, I'm going to say bye.